OK, another thing to bring us all together is food, Chef Mark. So, what are you uniting us with today? Dumplings. Yes! OK, <laughs> good. Well, that'll bring everybody together, won't it? Uh, and this is inspired, of course, by our trip to Taiwan, wasn't it? It certainly was. I mean, we had some amazing food there in, like, 48 hours, but I'd say these dumplings were one of my favourites. What flavour are you going for? Right, so these are special dumplings, yeah. Xiaolong, Xiaolong Bao dumplings, and that it's, it means soup dumplings. OK. So they're nice and liquidy, so you get these beautiful dumplings, but it's liquid sort of soup. In, uh, uh, inside the dumplings, so you put it in your mouth and it oh, all bursts, yes. so it's really good. And we do that by making a, a beautiful sort of flavoured uh, pork broth, and we set it with gelatin, so I've got that mm. here. But I'm going to show you how to do that a bit later. We've got pork, uh, the main ingredient for the inside yes. of the dumplings, with lots of the uh, you know traditional Asian flavours, ginger, spring oh. onions, uh, soy, and uh, we've got these pork bones now, so I'm just going to start the stock. So oh, you're starting some, already? Oh, just some keen. water, pork bones okay. in there, bring nice. that to the boil, mm -hmm. and then it's it, we're, we're going to blanch the bones. So all the uh, all the sort of like the blood and the bits and bobs, what we don't want in the stock, will come to the top. We'll take that off, and then I'll I'll show you how to make the stock later. Brilliant. Okay. Well, here we are in the Biko Kitchen, and we're going to celebrate our time in Taiwan because you were inspired at the markets, Mark. What I really liked about you is I I saw your passion for food in Taiwan come through. You were like a kid in a candy store, weren't you? <laughs> yeah. It was good. Oh, it was brilliant. I mean, the the raw ingredients are amazing. Mm. The, the food, you know, great restaurants, just simple restaurants, street food, everything. It's fantastic. And no wastage, you know, like they take something and they turn it into deliciousness very easy, <laughs> just like we are today. So what yeah. are you making? Right, so we're going to make our, um, yeah, so these are the soup dumplings, so we're going to make a, uh, a pork stock. So here's our pork stock here. So we've just made the stock and we set it with gelatin, but this is how you make it. So pop your pork bones in just in some water, bring it to the boil, yes. just simmer it for a couple of minutes and you can see, see all the, you know, the bits of blood sort of congealing coming up to the top. So mm -hmm. you want to get rid of this now. Right. So I just tip okay. all this out. This is interesting. So we've set the pork stock with gelatin. Yeah. Okay, cool. And this is how you do it. Right. Yeah. And then and then we've got some chicken stock in there. Yeah. So this is gonna make our broth. I'm gonna bring that back up to the bowl boil with those bones in. Mm -hmm. I've got a little bit of um, chicken stock uh, powder, or you can use a pork one if you want. That just boosts the flavour. Because there's only, there's only gonna be a little bit of this jelly in each dumpling, so you want it real um, you know, packed full of flavour. Okay, great. So that helps you. We've got some of the Chinese cooking wine that goes in. Yum. Got some ginger. Nice. So just slice it. Sorry, you don't need to peel it. That goes in, and uh, spring onion as well. It's like watching you at the night markets. That was one thing I highly recommend you do if you're ever in Taiwan, is go to the night market. It's famous, and they just make this food right in front of you. You oh. see exactly how it's constructed, and it's served to you straight away. It's delicious. It's so good, isn't yeah. it? And it's so cheap as well. And there's there's, there's night markets like dotted all over all Taipei. All over town, so, I mean, yeah. You know, you don't have to travel across town for them. There's, there's, there's one close. OK, so that's our broth brewing away. Yeah, so bring it up to the boil, simmer it. Simmer it for about half an hour, an hour. You know, you'll get lots of flavour in there. Strain it off it with some gelatin and that is what you're left with. Okay. okay. And the makes reason why sense. I set it with gelatin, so it sets nice and firm, we can chop it and we can mix it through our mince. Uh, so you are going to do some work now. Oh, right, do so I have some... to do some work? I was enjoying my coffee that Jesse <laughs> made. <laughs> Jesse makes a great coffee. Do you really want me to do some work? Yes. Oh, okay. Come on. Oh. Right, so um, pork mince. Yeah. That's in there. There's a bit of cornstarch as well. We're just going to mix that through. It's just going to help hold everything together. Okay. So once you've got the cornstarch mixed through, we'll start adding some flavour in. <laughs> okay, how mixed through do you want it? Is uh, it fully mixed through. Okay, cool. <laughs> Running out of time. I'm doing a fast mix. I'm like a blender. All right, I've got some uh, white pepper in there. Yep, nice. Uh, it's a little bit of uh, salt, a little bit of sugar. Okay. That goes in. Some dark soy sauce. Oh, yeah. And some light soy sauce. Oh, building up a sweat doing this. <laughs> a little bit of sesame oil goes in there as well. I'm going to chop a couple of spring onions and some ginger, and that goes in there. And then what we're going to do as well is we're going to chop that jelly and mix it through. I can smell, I can smell what this is going to turn into already. That yeah. classic dumpling smell. It's just beautiful, isn't it? Oh, but these are yeah, these these are great. You know, if you love dumplings, you know, try this. There's a little bit of extra work in it. You know, making the stock and everything. And then we've got uh, we've made our own dumpling uh, dough as well. You know, so okay, cool. So Hard it's a to make? It's, no, no, really easy. So it's just flour and hot water, and you just mix it together okay. and then just start kneading it. Give it about five minutes, like kneading it with a hand, wrap it in cling film, give it half an hour for all the gluten to so just relax, and then that is ready to go. We're going to chop the um, 
ginger up in the stock, put it in there, and then we're ready for the fun <laughs> part. We're going to build our Whew. dumplings. Well, you are. Uh, thanks, Hugh. I need a race. And we are going to be using lots of great ingredients today because we were inspired by visiting a restaurant at the bottom of Taipei's 101 famous building called Din Tai Fung. Mm -hmm. Is that what it's called? And I tell you what, that place was so impressive. There's a big window and you can watch everybody make the dumplings. World famous and people queue for hours to get in there. We didn't know. We got some VIP treatment, didn't we? Straight in. It was good. <laughs> You take Mark with you around the world, all the chefs, oh, come, come. So anyway, you are doing your own version of these, and we're on to the actual... He's trying. <laughs> He's trying. And we're on they to make the dumpling. It look, yeah, they make it look so easy. I know, they were a lot faster than you were. Oh, pff, tell me about it. So they make, uh, they were telling us they make 70,000 individual dumplings yeah. a day. That's crazy. You know, there's like 30 people making them just constantly, and... Uh, you know, they're prestigious too, isn't it, to work oh, there? It, it's amazing, and everyone is just the same, you know, it's just, uh, you are supposed to be trying to get it round now. All right, well, you're getting there slowly. Uh, so, uh, so yeah. just for those that might have just joined us, you made this pastry yeah, yourself, so, didn't you? so this pastry is really simple, so basically this is only uh, flour, just normal uh, plain flour, and some hot water, and then Easy. pour it in, mix it together, and then just knead it. Okay, and we've got the gelatin which you've chopped up and you've put with our mix. Why can't you just make that gel? Why can't you make that broth liquid? Or does it fall to bits in the dumpling? Well, yeah. I mean, if you're if you're going to put a liquid in there, it's going to loosen it all down, and then how are you going to pop it into your dumpling okay, and seal I see. it? You know, so that's why you set it a gelatin so it's nice and firm. Mix it through your meat, which you've got here, yep. and then you've got to work fast because you don't want uh, you don't want that to gelatin melt. to mount. Okay, I see. So it's literally. I think it's five grams of um, dough. So it's literally the way everything out. So each bit of dough is like five grams and then they've got to roll it to like, you know, a, a certain round template, which is very similar to that. It's you know? very similar. And then, and then it's 16 grams of oh, that, well, that's mix. What, that's what really impressed me watching them make them, is that everything is weighed individually, hand by hand, every single thing that you need. So but it's you, perfect every time. But you know, I mean, if you're, if you're making these, um, you know, day in, day out, so many, you know, you can just do it. Oh, you get skilled at it. it. And then what you want to do is you sort of... <laughs> God, they, made, they do make it look so easy. If you well, want to see it professionally, Dylan, watch the video. Yeah, that's right. Um, and then you just sort of putting it in and folding it around okay. and you're cupping it at the top and it needs to be 18 folds. That's right. Exactly. Are you counting? See, I, no, I've <laughs> lost, I've lost, lost cows and I've put way too much mix, mixture in there. Oh, you, you have, have a go, Mike. Oh, should I have a go? Yeah, okay, cool. make I'll me look better. Rightio. Oh, this is fantastic. And people, you know, I, I, I guess <laughs> they order dumplings a lot, so now you can make them at home. Oh my God, and these, these are the best dumplings. And then all you want to do to serve it with is just really simple, just some black vinegar, which mm -hmm. you've got over here, and just a little bit of julienne of uh, fresh ginger. Just mix it together, dip it in there, and then, you know, let it cool down a bit. You make a little hole in your dumpling, you take a little sip, and then you pop it in. Oh my God, it's worse than mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, uh, unfortunately, we have run out of time. Um, so we will come back with the completed dumplings very soon. And of course, you can get the recipe and the ingredients on our website. And if you are inspired by the incredible food of Taiwan and you want to take a visit, then take an Air New Zealand flight there because they fly directly from Auckland. The website is on screen now. This is fantastic as well. Hey, the same thing could happen. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. We got there. We I got feel there. like I'm back in Taipei. What are you cooking tomorrow? <laughs> right, tomorrow I've got a lemon basil shrimp and asparagus.